Hello YouTube, this is Detroit Pork, and today we're going to take a look at the iDisc app and streaming music from your iDisc folder. Now this is only available to mobile me subscribers, and subscribers have access to online storage or cloud storage. There you can upload files such as music, movie, photos, and documents. And the iDisc feature was updated with iOS 4 to be able to run with multitasking. Previously you could only play music in the iDisc app, and when you closed it, it would shut off the music. That's so that was just like Pandora or everything else without background processing. So what I'm going to do now is go to my computer and add some files to the iDisc folder so we can start playing them. There are two ways to add files to iDisc. On OS X it's very simple. Once you've activated MobileMe on your Mac, all you have to do is go to Finder and the iDisc will appear as one of the devices, just like a hard drive. So if I open iDisk, I see I have these default folders that were already put in there by default when I signed up for the service. And of course there's a music folder. All I have to do is go to my music folder. So under music I'd like to add some Coldplay to my iDisk. So let's go down to Coldplay. And we're just going to add Coldplay Viva La Vida. And it's just basically dragging and dropping. Of course it's not as instantaneous because it has to upload to the server and upload speed of course depends on your ISP. So it's telling me I have about 110 megabytes to upload and it will take about 16 minutes. Now we can see that the Coldplay album is here so if we open up the folder we now have access to the files. You can also add content by going to the website. So if you go to me.com front slash iDisc Once you've logged on, you'll have access to these folders again. So let's go to our music folder and we see we have the Coldplay album. Now let's go to the control up here to add. So this is the upload button. Now it's going to give me a navigator to choose the files I want to upload. So let's upload another Coldplay album. Let's do parachutes. Now unfortunately you can't drag and drop entire folders so you'll have to select files uh, individually. In this case I can shift to select all. So now it's adding the files. Unfortunately it will not be in its own folder. So once these files are done uploading let's go to the iPhone app and take a look. Now that we've added the files to the iDisc folder let's go to the app. We're just going to have to log on. Now we have all the folders in my iDisc app and the one I'm interested in is music. So there we have it, all the individual songs I uploaded along with the Coldplay folder. So we even have some of the album artwork in here. There we go, we can take a look at the album artwork. Now we can go back to the album and tap one of the songs. So there we go, we have the song playing. We can pause it, play it. But what we can do now with iOS 4 is close this and continue to play it. If you want to get back to the controls, just double tap the home key, swipe to the right, and we can see we have the iDisc app here. That's telling me I have control over the iDisc functionality right now and click pause. Unfortunately it doesn't look like these navigation controls work with iDisc so if I click play even though there are other tracks in this folder it won't go to the next track it will just go to iPod. So once again this is Detroit Borg with a demo of iDisc running in the background in iOS 4. Thanks for watching.